This is part two of the AI debate. In part one, you saw a skit where a toy robot came to life and debated on the value of artificial intelligence in the classroom. But did AI actually write that script? The short answer is yes, but it's a lot more complicated than it seems. In November 2022, ChatGPT took the world by storm. It was a chatbot program that didn't just seem to answer your questions, but was able to create. People have used the program to write music, code, compose emails, and even write school essays. It's this last part that either scares educators or inspires them. It's true that AI programs can help students cheat. No! And each update to the program finds itself smarter. For instance, in March 2023, it was announced that ChatGPT4 not only passed the bar exam, but was also in the top 10%. Is it really that smart? Or was it just trained in all the answers ahead of time? The result though, is that many schools began to ban AI. We'll come back to that idea in a moment. So what about my video? Did I just sit back and let AI do all the work? Well, not exactly. Brainstorming for an idea is sometimes the hardest stage. I used ChatGPT for this experiment, and on my first prompt, told it to write the script. I detailed the two characters, me and the robot, and their personalities. I gave a location, and then divided up the topic of the three scenes. I summarized what I wanted along with questions I needed answered. The first draft was interesting, but the quality was so-so. It was very simple and the tone felt off. It had me addressing the audience in a way that I wouldn't normally do. There also just wasn't anything to see, basically two talking heads. So I asked it to revise and went scene by scene. But its revision was strange. ChatGPT didn't remember that it was writing a script and switched to narrative form. I told it to do it again correctly, which it did. I was much more impressed and it's very similar to the introduction you saw. I then continued the same back and forth discussion with scenes two and three. So what did I learn from this exercise? Well, first of all, ChatGPT blew me away. The fact that it could make a robot likable and slightly sinister made me smile. But ChatGPT wasn't necessarily the easy route to writing a good script. I had to prompt it with a lot of details and with continuous revisions. Here's what I've realized. First, ChatGPT helped inspire me. I didn't know how to write that script. I wonder if AI programs will shine best when they're helping us figure out our own ideas. Second, I had to know what I wanted. I had to assess what ChatGPT wrote and determine if it was the best way to write it. I couldn't just accept what it spit out as the final draft. In the end, I combined parts of all of its drafts into one final version, sometimes adding clarifications and even rewriting entire lines. I personally added the robot doing the housework as it added the visual it was lacking, which leads me to the realization that I still had to do my research. I needed to know what actual humans were saying about these ideas. And that's huge, because in the end, AI programs like ChatGPT aren't human. And the best communicators have a human touch. AI alone won't help you get a future job. It might help you write an amazing resume, but when you sit down to interview, it will be based on your ability to speak, think, and connect as a human independently of technology. If you take shortcuts now as a student, you might be jeopardizing yourself later. So what do we do about this in schools? AI is not going away. We are seeing it integrated in everything from our browsers to Google Docs to our socials like Snapchat. Let's use AI in a way that assists us to become better humans. For instance, instead of having AI write it for you from start to finish, try the hybrid approach. This is using AI to help you find inspiration or to brainstorm, but then you go and do the actual writing or submitting a draft written by yourself and asking for feedback. Don't have it rewrite it for you, but instead ask for pointers on organization, 
analysis, or tone. Then go back and do it yourself. Seeing if a sentence is grammatically correct is another great use. Or do some writing in reverse. Have it write something and you critique it using a rubric provided by your teacher. Break it apart and see what can be done to improve its tone, style, or accuracy. As humans, we still need to be able to read, comprehend, write, and edit. Those skills should not be sidestepped, which is why we go to school in the first place. Learning to write is learning to think clearly, and AI should not completely replace your thinking. To do so will hurt you in the long run, but when it comes to brainstorming and inspiration and feedback, that's where I personally think AI will help us excel. But that's just my opinion. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below where you might land on this issue. See you next time.